Meatballs are favorite in every kind of cooking. Go to any country in the world, meatballs will be one of the favorites. So I'm going to show you how to make this South Indian meatballs, which is called Kola Urundai, uh, Kima Moti and uh, various names. Basically, we're going to make this uh, meat preparation by first frying in some spices. So here, we're going to take some red chili, some clove, add some fennel, in this add some poppy seeds. This combination is great and uh, the poppy seeds while roasting will give out very nice aroma. Once you dry roast these ingredients, transfer this into a bowl. First make powder of this. Once this is finely grounded, then add the fried chana and then you are going to coarsely ground this. Now the second is the masala with the meat and the meat also need to be cooked a little bit. First you are going to add coconut, add garlic, add green chilli. So slowly you can also dry roast the coconut till it is nice and brown to get even more better taste but this should be good enough. Add curry leaf and saute it for few minutes on a slow flame. Now in this add some chopped onion. The reason why we are not adding oil is if you add oil binding that uh, urundai the meatballs will be a little bit difficult. So do not add oil because meat will have a lot of fat and once you cook that meat some of the oil will come out. Now take the mincemeat and add in this. You know I always prefer to get the meat boneless wash it and then blend it at home that way you will have a nice very clean keema put the lid on and let it cook on a slow flame for around uh, seven eight minutes in between keep mixing it in between kind of this is pan chopping and slowly cook this this way of cooking will give you very good results and very flavorful meatballs after around uh, seven eight minutes Look at the meat, it's nicely cooked and let some of the moisture evaporate. Just leave it like this and also add some chopped coriander and lot of people they add um, soaked chana in this and cook it. Since I've used fried chana powder, I'm just going to uh, grind this and mix that along with this and we're going to make these meatballs. In this, we're going to add some salt, put it in a blender and make it into a coarse paste. Look at this uh, meat, this has been coarsely grounded. It has to be coarse, do not try to make it a fine paste. In this, the fried chana dal and all the masalas, the clove, fennel, this has got such a nice aroma. So now this will absorb whatever the moisture that is there and you will be able to do a good binding. When you are deep frying this, you got to have some more of binding, first make sure Mix this nicely, this is nice and hot. Let this slightly cool down and in this you can add you know, some egg. Do not add a full egg, it will become too moist. Just add some egg white, that should be good enough. Mix along with this. Now we are going to convert this into nice beautiful meatballs. Look at this mixture. I think I will add the egg yolk also. Egg yolk always gives a very nice taste. So mix all of this now make the meatballs and when you fry them they will be so good i think my dogs can get the aroma they started barking already now ah uh, ha ha the mixture is nice and perfect medium hot oil add these meatballs but do not add too many at a time just few and let them fry always whenever you are frying something that is fragile do not try to mix it right away, you know, give it some time. Just let it fry for 2-3 minutes, then the binding will become strong. That's when you can slowly move it. Fry these meatballs. And when I was a kid, you know, my mom used to make this very often in a different form. What we do is, we make it, you know, a little bit flat like masala vada. We call it kima moti. And uh, my dad used to love it. So as soon as they are done, you know, I'm going to send to my father because he loves uh, mutton, the meat more than the chicken. So this one for my father. 
Every country has their own favorite meatballs, spaghetti with meatballs and please let us know what kind of meatballs you love and what are the traditionally you guys make it at home. The recipe is different just in the comments write down the ingredients what you prefer to add and we will make those recipes also on the show and look at this beautiful you know nice wonderful meatballs this is just fantastic let some of the oil come down and we're going to serve them serve them nice and hot fry till they are nice and uh, you know dark you know that's when the meat will have that uh, nice aroma coming this is just wonderful really really hot and uh, uh, mm. Lot of great childhood memories with these meatballs. Just wonderful. Mm. Wow. This is just too good. I'm sure my dad is going to just love them. Difference. Absolutely boomba boomba meatballs. Mm. You know, one cannot stop eating such wonderful meatballs. Usually, with the side of a rasam or any kind of uh, sambar or anything on the side these uh, meatballs are just fantastic this urundai the kima moti what we call make it eat it and you will thoroughly enjoy it